Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking This Week in Bonus LEGO News, where every Saturday I bring you the LEGO stories you need to know. We've got a huge week with reveals from Star Wars, Speed Champions, Creator, City, and more. More sets coming from Stranger Things and Friends, the return of the Tumblr, and which of the 57 LEGO Ideas projects will be chosen. And I'll kick off another round of the weekly giveaway. Just subscribe and leave a comment about this week's news. And of course, I'm back with LEGO deals from Amazon and across the web, so if you want to pick anything up to support the channel, there's links in the description below. First up over at Target, today's the last day to save 20% on tons of Star Wars sets when you use their same day options. And there's a lot of really great sets there. Over on Amazon, they've got the new X-Wing for 20% off with coupon. Plus, there's even more great Star Wars sets 20% off, and even more from Super Mario, Creator, and City around 20% off. And this week, Adidas released their new ZX-8000 shoe, which comes in youth and men's sizes, which is now available. And if you want to support the channel and pick up any of these deals and more, be sure to check the links in the description below. Next up in LEGO Star Wars news, we finally got the reveal of the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle, with 969 pieces and retailing for $100. The main build for the set is, of course, the Havoc Marauder ship as it appears in the new Disney Plus series, The Bad Batch. Many fans have been really looking forward to this set's reveal, but equally confused about the sand blue color scheme. But overall, I think the ship looks really nice. The entire ship can open up and can seat four of the minifigures, which is far larger than I would have expected. The wings can be raised and lowered, and of course there's some spring-loaded shooters. The build also comes with a couple speeder bikes, which look really cool, including a bark speeder that looks to be the same build as the one from the 501st Legion Clone Trooper set. This set comes with five minifigures, including all the members of the Bad Batch. Here we've got Hunter and Wrecker, and Wrecker interestingly uses an Iron Man helmet and a new cool armor piece. Next we've got Tech and Echo, and Tech has that awesome new helmet mold, which looks great. And finally we've got Crosshair and a Gonk Droid, and they all have cool face prints and additional hair accessories. Overall, I really like this set, and it's great that you can get all the team in just one set, and if you want to pre-order the set and support the channel, I've left links in the description below to all the retailers. Next up over on social media, LEGO's been teasing a couple upcoming sets from Stranger Things and another one from Friends. First from Stranger Things, it's a very small tease, and it's actually a recreation of a shot from the recent teaser trailer. While this shot may be from season 4, I have to imagine that the new set won't be. As you'll recall, the original The Upside Down set came out during season 3, but it actually depicts the events from season 1. So I have to imagine that the new set will be more of a marketing channel for season 4, and perhaps give us a set we've all been wanting. And that would of course be the season 3 centerpiece of Starcourt Mall, which I imagine could look somewhat similar to the recent mall that we got from Lego Friends, but instead be filled with our favorite characters and of course monsters. And as a huge fan of the show, I can't wait to find out. Next, for Friends, it looks like we finally get our first look at the long-rumored set based on Monica's apartment. And of course, you'll recognize this picture as a recreation of the floating head scene from Thanksgiving. And you've gotta love the iconic frame on the door. The Monica minifigure seems to be the one with the apron from the episode where she made candy. And while it's a bit hard to tell, I'm pretty sure this is the same Chandler because of the tie. As for the other friends, we can't quite tell, though Phoebe and Rachel have new hair pieces, and there may be a new face print for Rachel. You may recall that the original Central Perk set was the fastest selling set, so it makes perfect sense that it got a sequel with the apartment, and I can't wait to see how they capture all these iconic details. And as a huge Friends fan, I also can't wait for this set, and looking at the bottom of the door, it looks like there may be even more than we expect. Next up in LEGO Batman news, it looks like the next major re-release could be of the classic Ultimate Collector style Tumblr from The Dark Knight. According to Promo Bricks, the new version will have 2,049 pieces and retail for 230 euros. The original model was one of my favorites, and it definitely makes sense that they would re-release it for people who didn't get their hands on it originally. And I'm personally most curious to see if we'll get any different minifigures this time around. And beyond the large scale set, it looks like we're also going to be getting a smaller scale one, like the classic Batmobile which just released. The last smaller scale Tumblr we got was Bane's Tumblr from The Dark Knight Rises, so I would love to get an updated version, especially since I never got the original Tumblr from the Lego Batman line. And I'd love to keep building out my small scale series, so we'll have to wait and see. Next up, this week was another huge week for reveals across all of our favorite LEGO themes, and there's honestly so many sets to break down, so let's get started. First from LEGO City, we've got the Wildlife Rescue Camp. This set is just jam-packed with scenery, vehicles, and of course, tons of new animals. There's a treehouse base that spans the river, and a section with a cave for the lions. And I love the white variant for the lion and the cub. There's an awesome elephant, a rescue truck, and I love that minifigure's new hairpiece. This set also has variants for the monkeys and that eagle piece, plus even more vehicles. Next, we've got the Seaside Police and Fire Mission. And I can't exactly recall how many sets come with both police and fire people. While this set comes with quite a few builds with that police lighthouse, helicopter, fireboat, and speedboat, I do find this a little underwhelming, maybe because it's a 5 plus set. For LEGO Crater 3-in-1, we've got the Medieval Castle. Just like with last year's Pirate Ship, LEGO's using the Crater line to resurrect some of our favorite classic themes. And this new castle is super unique and definitely hits the spot. I love how there's a ton of areas for play, and it looks like you might even be able to connect multiple sets together. This set can be rebuilt into this large castle 
castle tower with trebuchet. The other build seems to be a sort of medieval marketplace with a great windmill build. Next up, we've got the crocodile. This one definitely looks fierce with all those teeth, and it seems to be able to be posed around. And the build can be rebuilt into a frog as well as a large snake. And finally, we've got the fish tank, and I love its colorful designs for the fish and the different elements. And it reminds me a lot of Finding Nemo. And it can be rebuilt into this treasure chest and sword, as well as an art easel with a painting. Next up for Harry Potter, we're going to be getting another accessory set. And this time, it really feels like an expansion on Diagon Alley. Included, we've got Harry Potter, Rufus Scrimger, Daedalus Diggle, and Doris Crockford. But interestingly, most of these pieces are actually reused. At the center, there's a table with cool accessories. And at the bottom, we've got a printed 2x3 tile with the sign-up sheet for Dumbledore's army. Also announced were brickheads for Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Hagrid. Plus our first brickheads for Voldemort, Nagini, and Bellatrix Lestrange. Interestingly, the students this time are a bit smaller. As we can see here, Harry is scaled more so with the old Hedwig versus the old Harry. And the Hagrid is different than the older one and will be good for those that missed the promo. And I'm a huge fan of this set with a really unique design for Nagini, and I love Bellatrix's hair build. Next up, Speed Champions is back, and there are three individual cars coming this season. First up, we've got the Koenig Zeg Jesko. This one stands out to me with its unique front end and spoiler design. Plus, I love the little pops of color. Next, we've got the Toyota GR Supra with its fun yellow color scheme and really nice details. And finally, we've got the McLaren Elva, and I like the unique design with no windshield and the printed seats. Next, we've got the Chevrolet Corvette C8R race car and 1968 Chevrolet Corvette. I always like these Speed Champion sets that come with a retro car in addition to a new one, and I think both of them look really nice. Next up, we've got the Mopar Dodge SRT Top Fuel Dragster and 1970s Dodge Challenger TA. This 70s Challenger in purple looks really exceptional, and I think the other drag racer is certainly unique for the line. And finally, we've got the 4 GT Heritage Edition and Bronco R. The Bronco looks super beefy, and I really, really love the color scheme on the 4 GT. This one's definitely one of my favorites. Next from LEGO Disney, we got the last set from Mickey and Friends with Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck's Farm. With this being a 4 plus set, the real draw for me are these farmer versions of Donald and Mickey, which look really nice. But the set also includes four animals, including this brand new sheet mold. Plus the farm looks nice with some printed pieces. We're also going to be getting brick heads for Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Scrooge McDuck. And while the designs are simple, they're spot on. And we're also going to be getting one for Daisy Duck, which helps us round out the core characters. Next up in the botanical collection, we're getting another set with the Birds of Paradise. This set contains 1,173 pieces and will retail for $100. The overall design looks really nice, and unlike the flower bouquet, this one does come with a pot. But with that said, I'm not sure that this has the variety that the flower bouquet had. The build is very impressive and I think will look really nice in your collection, but at $100, it feels a little bit steep for me. And if you want to support the channel and pick up the set when it comes out in August, I've left a link in the description below. Next up from LEGO Architecture, we've got the Taj Mahal with 2,022 pieces and retailing for $120 in the US. The Taj Mahal looks really great in this LEGO architecture style. And it's a nice alternative to the extra large creator expert Taj Mahal that we got previously. There's a lot of detail packed in here, and it's always interesting to see how they capture these details in micro scale. And I think this makes a nice display piece that's much easier to place than the larger version. Next from the LEGO Brickheads Pets line, we're getting another set with a Dalmatian and Puppy. The builds here look super cute, and I love all of the printed detail. And just like the others, it comes with a dog bed. Next up in LEGO Masters news, we got our first look at episode one with a new trailer. Will definitely seems to be back to his old antics, and it's so great to see Brickmaster Amy and Jamie back on screen. It definitely feels like they're upping the ante for season two, and I can't wait to see how these new contestants handle all the new challenges. And as a huge fan of the show, the June 1st premiere can't come soon enough for me. But season two of my LEGO Masters podcast, Talk Bricks Masters, will actually be starting early with some preseason coverage, so be sure to subscribe with the link below. Next up in LEGO Ideas news, we've got the biggest review round yet for the first one in 2021, with 57 projects. The licensed projects often get a ton of attention, and there's a lot of really good ones this time around, including The Simpsons, Portal, two projects for The Office, two projects for Lord of the Rings, multiple Disney projects, and Nintendo projects. And it's sad to think that most of these wouldn't get made. With so many projects all at once, it's easy to see trends, such as that people really want Classic Castle, more NASA and space sets, and of course, modular buildings. But as a lot of these concepts overlap with existing lines, I'm curious to see which, if any, we'll get. Another trend we see are these sculptural builds, which I feel like LEGO's been leaning into with the 18 Plus line. I just pray that LEGO makes more than one of these, because there's so many deserving winners this time around. But as always, we're going to have to wait and see. And the exciting news is that we should be finding out the results of the third 2020 round this summer. And speaking of LEGO ideas, there were two more projects for the next round of review that hit 10,000 supporters. First up, we've got Movie Set. This project is super unique as it actually has builds for eight different facades to allow you to create different films using your smartphone. And the designs are highly detailed, looking like the front of most modular buildings. And I love how all of the different facades can be combined to really 
fill out a full building. This one definitely takes me back to the Lego Studios line, and I think this would make a really cool display piece. Next up, we've got Imperial Island Fort, which definitely takes me back to the classic pirates theme. The design is definitely unique here with all of the island details, with the palm trees and the rock texture. And I think this set would be perfectly at home with the Pirates of Barracuda Bay set that we got. As a fan of classic pirates myself, I'd really like to get this one as a set, but a couple of these Imperial projects have made it to review, and none have made it through, so we'll have to wait and see. So there you have it, folks. That was this week in bonus Lego news. And with Lego in 2021, there's always more surprises. Out of everything here, I'm just so excited to find out what's coming next from Lego Batman, Stranger Things, and of course, Friends. And with lots of the summer 2021 sets already being revealed, the next wave will be fall and winter wave sets, which I'm just so curious about. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up down below as it really helps the channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be back next Saturday with even more Lego news. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all the stories? And which one are you most excited about? And now we've got this week's giveaway winner. Congratulations. And be sure to email me from the about page on my channel so we can coordinate about the prize. And if you want to enter this week's round, just leave me a comment about this week's news. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click to watch last week's video with tons of 2021 reveals from Minecraft, Disney, Ninjago, Video City Creator, and more. And don't forget to subscribe.